Joining me now, Washington Post reporter Jackie Alemany and Harry Littman, former U.S. attorney, L.A. Times columnist and host of the Talking Feds podcast. So, Harry, what do you make of Abby Lowell now claiming that the foreign business dealings have already been looked at and that the pretrial agreement not to go after him on the gun charge is still in effect? Um, every indication, certainly from... The prosecutor, then prosecutor David Weiss's announcement of the plea agreement uh, some time ago was that he was still investigating. So he put that in a press release, and then it was repeated in court when the judge queried both sides and said, you know, is this wrapped up? And one side said yes, and the other side said no. So the deal fell apart. That's true, although the deal fell apart for another reason, a kind of quirky legal reason, because the judge said, wait, you've, you've put these together and that puts me in an awkward position. I think Lowell has a point. There, He has been investigated for five years. We assume, if it's not the case, all right, but we assume that that included the 2014-15 uh, possible FARA violations and they decided not to bring them. If nothing new has emerged in terms of facts and the law, and the uh, now special counsel has decided to bring new charges when the one thing that has transpired was this sort of political maelstrom and charges by Republicans that it was a sweetheart deal. It feels as if this is not the way special counsels are supposed to work. It doesn't feel politically insulated. In fact, it feels, you know, politically fraught. So I, I think the big question is, will Weiss now try to bring new and different charges, even when they had been? You're certainly right. There was this, it's a, it's a kind of a cliche, the investigation is continuing. But the, the sense on all sides was this really had wrapped it up. And if that's now been unwrapped with no new facts or law, it's a, it's a little unsettling. And, Harry, I think Chuck Rosenberg, uh, your colleague uh, and a fellow contributor over the weekend, was questioning whether the special counsel was necessary in this case. He said it was somewhat cosmetic. So That's, a, that's clearly true. So the only reason he wanted this power was to bring uh, the, but once he asked for it, Garland was kind of in a box, but he wanted to bring the cases, the already extant cases, in New York and L.A. He did not need the special counsel designation to do it, uh, but he can automatically—he could have just asked and Garland would have granted, but he could automatically do it with this uh, designation. Again, if he wants to bring the very same charges, but in New York or California, that's one thing. If he wants to bring now new charges, that's another. And Jackie Alimany, Republicans in Congress initially had been calling for the appointment of a special counsel in the case. Now it's a reality, and many of them seem to have changed their mind. Is it because it's David Weiss? That's a really good question, Andrea. It's hard to sort of track the line of thinking here about why Republicans have suddenly pivoted, except from a rhetorical perspective, this obviously, uh, this this new line of messaging attacking uh, David Weiss, saying that he couldn't be trusted because he uh, allowed Hunter Biden to strike a, a sweetheart deal in the first place. Um, and this idea that the special counsel investigation is now going to impede the congressional investigation allowed allows them to continue to further their attacks on uh, the Biden administration and this idea that they've been pushing that the Justice Department has been weaponized and, and as has the FBI and, and law enforcement in general against Republicans and that this is just the latest example of that. But, you know, as you just noted months ago, uh, there were Republicans who were clamoring uh, about th this very idea that there wasn't a special counsel appointed. They had claimed and touted the testimony of whistleblowers, people like Gary Shapley, an IRS supervisor who was working closely on this case, that uh, that Shapley had said that Weiss had asked to be a special counsel and that Garland had rejected it. Weiss obviously denied this, as the, did the Justice Department. Now it's finally happening, but this is something that Republicans were asking for so that Hunter Biden uh, could receive fairer treatment under the law as um, is, uh, you know, is sort of cosmetically, uh, it's sort of this cosmetic design to 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 enhance that process.